Welcome back to another build video. We are really coming down to the wire here. I think I have a little bit. I have about a week left to finish everything. And I was gonna try and finish the kitchen area, but unfortunately this stove top that I ordered It was a whole mess. It was a whole thing. So I decided I'm going to have to order a different one, just to long story short. So the next video, or well, I don't know, if the, even if the next video, the kitchen video, whenever it comes out, will be stuff that I've already shot plus stuff that I haven't shot yet. <laughs> so today the plan is to build out the closet and finish it completely. I have everything I need for that, so that's what we're going to do today. So essentially, I'll have hanging space on top and I will have storage space on the bottom for, I want to hopefully have three sections, one small one over here so that I can hang longer clothes like dresses and then I'll have two sections there for like shoes and stuff. So far to build um, everything that is framed in this bus aside from the desk, this whole side and then this bed that I have here is framed with pre-finished plywood and I've used four sheets of that. Well, not used. I have bought four sheets of that total and so far I've used three with a bunch of scrap that I may be able to use for other things. But for now, I'm going to have to cut the last big piece for the kitchen area and I think for the closet just to separate the sections that I want to get separated. So that will require um, a very specific size, so none of the scrap is big enough to be cut down. It's smaller than that. So we're going to have to cut the big piece of plywood, and then we're going to frame out the closet and get it done today. So after looking up which um, bins I want to buy, which I will show you, which are these and those dimensions, um, we're going to go ahead and build the storage for those. So those, I'll get three of them, and then they'll sit on this side up on top of each other. And then this other side will have my laundry bin, which I already have, and then I'll still have a little room in front of it for whatever. So that's where we're gonna start. So we're gonna go ahead and build the shelves over here, and then that should be pretty simple. <sighs> okay, I, we, I almost made us mess up. So the first one that we need to cut is 30 by 15, because we're just going over 12 inches. This is gonna be 30 and come out 15. So we need one that's 30 by, but I want to come out a little more than 15, at least three quarters of an inch so we can lip it in the front. I would just do 16. Okay, so we'll do 30 by 16. And then the second one are the shelves, which would be cornered, so it would be 16 by 12, right? Because it'll go over 12, and then it's, We'll do 16 inches deep. Okay. Does that sound right? Mm hmm Okay. So. I don't think any of those boards, the scrap, are big enough, but let's double check. What's the smallest one? It needs to be 30 by 16 and 16 by 12. I don't know if those ones are wide enough. This is 16. That's all? Oh, look. Those are for the shelves. It's a little funky. It just looks like they're having an angle. So, you could get a 12. 16 by no. 12? Nah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we could probably do it on this one. Yeah, we could do something out of that. So we could do the shelves out of that one and then cut the bigger piece. So, what can we get out of this? I think we can get the 16 by 12. Oh yeah. Um, we need... Two 16 by 12s. It's a little bit under 24, you can get 12, so. Let's just do a 16.
12, 16. You need two of those? Yep. You can get another one, bro. Not good. Yeah. I do 16, if I mark it, if I do 16 and an 8, I could put it right on the line. I'm not be guessing. Alright, so line that blue line up right with that pencil line. Oh, it's on there. And that should be, hold it down. That should be perfect, bro. By 30, right? Yeah. They got a battery in it? Nope. That's what I'm looking for. Another one got up. This one's got that fat battery. It's almost dead. It's got two, two lights. Ten up. Ten twenty up. Okay, do it in there too. Do it in where? Hmm? In where? On that wall in there. In your bus, bro. You spray it? Are, didn't you say you had to go pee or something? Yeah. Go pee. Do you? I got to hold it, hold it. I got to hold it, hold it. Oh, there you go. You're not even gonna hold it. Okay, go. I am holding it. Turn it. Turn the clutch up. Up. There you go. Yep. This is just kind of tacking it together while the woods or the glue sets up. Burn. Burn. We're probably gonna need the little, uh, the old, the old one two, you know? The little brackets? No, the little angle. Oh, I can't put her, I can't put a, that on a Ryobi tool. I do it all the time. What? You watched my last video. Take it off. Too bad. So sad. I don't want my Milwaukee. Are your tools offended? They are. Check your dimensions before. Oh, we should have did. We should have a couple going that way. It's not even square, so. Why is it not square? Because nothing in this bus is square. Oh, uh, is this the not square bus? Oh, for sure. Yeah, right there. That's perfect. You gonna double check your, your thing here? 
No. So about 10 inches up. Why is that not about 10 inches up? It should be. Oh, you didn't measure off the three quarter. Oh, it needs to be at least nine and a half. No, it's nine and a quarter. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Should we just put it in before we check it or? <laughs> Those, first of all, they're flexible. <laughs> Crisis averted. No, I got it. Should you mark it or you should eyeball it? Um, I think if they're just sitting right up here. You gonna wood glue it? No. No? Should we? Yeah. I probably should. I don't So now that the shelves are in, we're gonna lip it off so that when I do put those little cubbies in here, they won't fly out. So we're gonna go ahead and go up an inch and a half and over 12 and just get those set in there. Just check it. Right, right. There you go, boom. So we have the shelves in and we have this little lip on each one so that when I insert those cubbies they don't fly out when I'm driving and then I have a little um, a little laundry basket that I've always used which will fit perfectly right there and we'll have plenty of space to just throw a couple of things in there maybe like a broom or whatever in the front so bottom of the closet storage is done now it is time to hang the curtain, not curtain rod, the dowel rod for the clothes. I think that's what you call it. Um, and then also the front. I was gonna do a door, but because this is so wide, I didn't want it to open up too much. So we have something else in store, which you guys will see. So for now, we are gonna hang the rod for the clothes and then we'll do the front. Let's see, curtain rods. Right here. Well, I don't know why I keep saying curtain rods. So you need that and these. So these have a bunch of gunk from the stickers on there, from the tape. So I'm gonna cut these down to size and then we'll sand them a little bit. I need to grab a hanger. Uh oh. What? Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta get a hanger and kind of line it up. And then I would just eyeball it. Basically. That's me. Right 
Okay, so I marked it. I just don't know if these would be in too long. I think this is kind of long. It's gonna go through the other side. Oh yeah, that ain't good. Oh, maybe not. It might be just. Let me check this other one because it doesn't have the. Oh. Ooh. I mean, if I don't go smash it through, I think it'll be fine. Yeah. No. <laughs> So Isaac found me a screw that is not too, not too uh, long. So, ow! As you guys saw earlier, I, I kind of dummy hung it and this is the placement I like. So we are gonna get in that little pencil line. Okay. I'm gonna sit straight. I'm just gonna duck it. Wait a minute. Thank you. Okay. That looks straight to you? Why don't you just put it in right now? Why are you judging me? I wanted it to match the other side. <laughs> Cool. Let's test it out. Perfect. So this side will have plenty of room. This is something that's a little bit longer than most of my things anyways that I want to hang up. And then this side I can have longer items like dresses and rompers and jumpers and stuff. So now that's done. We will do the door. So I mentioned earlier I thought about doing a door uh, or it's just so big that I didn't want to have to deal with doors that are coming out into my living space. So instead, I bought this really cool macrame curtain. And so this we hung, I'll have to cut it down on the bottom a little bit, but I'm going to hang it first on these out here. Now, I have this other, what would you call this rod? But I thought it'd be really, really cool to do driftwood as the, as the curtain rod. And I found on Etsy, uh, one that would fit was like, total with shipping was like gonna be like $50. So I was like, I don't know, that's a little much and I already have this, I'll just do that. And then Isaac and I happened to be somewhere recently where there was driftwood and I found this really cool stick. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work, but I'm gonna cut it down to size, sand it up really nice. And then I have these thicker hooks, which I'll show you guys. I don't, I think I need to show you, but we're gonna cut this down first sand it and then see if it will even work for the loops that are on that curtain. another reason but they were way too big than what I wanted and so I didn't want to send them back because it's a lot of hassle and they weren't that expensive and I can use them for other stuff like I'm gonna see I don't know <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be too too small it'll probably fit this side 
Yeah, that side would work good enough. But I can't can't get it on that side. Hmm. So, I don't know what to do. Halo, what are you doing? Are you do you like the overhead shelves? Yeah. I made them just for you. Cuz who needs who needs shelving when you have cats? Okay, so plan A did not work. It's too big for that one side. So, we're gonna put two screws just in the middle and hang it up on the wall. But I wanna pre-drill this before we screw it in so it doesn't crack it or anything. So basically, if we do it here, we'll do one here and one here. And it fits perfect. I just need to cut that bottom down. So it looks like uh, lengthwise it pretty much comes down to this last strip. So I'm just going to cut right beneath that or I'll just cut right over it so then these fray out. So here we go. There's no going back. Oh, these scissors suck. Yeah, they're not Milwaukee's. You want me to go use some real scissors? Mm hmm Here, you want some real scissors? You know, I've done a lot of stuff <laughs> with those terrible scissors, okay? Yeah, yeah. You like to live life hard. I do. I, I've had bruises on my fingers from those scissors. What do you think about it? I like it. Um, you'll still be able to kind of see through it which I don't mind. And obviously it looks off right here, but that's just cause we're on a, we're not on a hill, but we are parked at an angle. So once it straightens up, it should, you know, be the same on both sides. I'm happy with it. I'm happy that it's done. We are one step closer to a finished build. So now I have my closet with plenty of storage underneath and plenty of hanging space. There's my orange marker that I've been looking for. So yeah, super easy, super easy closet. So that's all for today's video. Uh, as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I wanted to get more done today, but we did have a friend stop by. So we took some time off of the work day to spend some time with him. Um, shout out to Comics with Bueller for coming and hanging out with us and saying hi. Uh, so I am really happy with how the closet came out. I'm just glad that one other piece is done. Tomorrow I'm going to move on to the composting, self-composting toilet. That is going to be a project because, well, you'll find all, all about that. Find out all about that tomorrow, not tomorrow, but in my next video. And then we'll have the kitchen done. And then last but not least is all of the electrical, which will be finished really quickly. So I'm crossing my fingers that nothing else goes wrong and we will finish this build by the end of March. <sighs> we shall see. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Do you guys think it will happen? Cause I'm not so sure. I'm getting kind of worried. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Looking forward to hearing from you and we'll see you on the next video. 
where we're talking about composting toilets. <laughs>